So picture this, it is 2015, you are standing in an Ollie's discount outlet and you see some Power Rangers Mega Force and some Super Mega Force stuff right there in front of your eyes on clearance. And you decide to pick up this, the combined red and pink Ranger battle gear weapon from Power Rangers Mega Force. It combines into its own little weapon, of course, and all you would need to do is track down the other three. Besides, you love the power cards, you love the Gose Morpher, and it can't be that hard to find that, right? Today, we complete a piece of Power Rangers Mega Force merchandise that I should have completed a very long time ago, something that nobody cares about. It is the Mega Force Blaster, which, like, my hand, like, it's gonna get stuck in this thing. Look how tiny the Phoenix shot is. Holy crap. But yes, today we are finally completing the full Mega Force Blaster. It only took me a solid eight years to do this, and uh, not because it was difficult, because it wasn't difficult. I just didn't care for the longest time. Uh, there was numerous opportunities when the other three were on Amazon and such like that, and I just didn't bother. But today, I have it. I have the other three. It is the Snake Axe, Tiger Claw, and Shark Bogon Battle Set, which I won an auction for, what was this, like $10? I got it, and it will not stand up because the box is all dented. But that's fine, it doesn't matter. I needed the weapons inside to finally complete the Mega Force Blaster. So let's go ahead and open it up and get this box out of here because uh, it's not its not going to stand up. So here is the Tiger Claw, which is a, uh, you know, definitely a little smaller, a little bit on the smaller side than it is when we see Gia use it in Mega Force. Here's a handle there, and I can fit three three of my fingers in there and you know it's it's decent it's like soft well, actually not really it kind of hurts but you know it's not a soft plastic but it's a little harder than i was expecting it to be but yeah that's there and then of course we have the snake axe which is hilarious to me it's basically like a little hatchet more than it is an axe really and it uh, slices your finger when you try to hold it which yeah i mean that that's a very inefficient axe like, your finger's gone. <laughs> but, you know, uh, there's that. Which, I mean, yes, these are all very tiny versions of the weapons. But they are here nonetheless. The big fancy one, though, is the Shark Bowgun, which requires some assembly. So, of course, it even has this, the dummy card, cards included. Which, yes, there are cards included. Which, I collect the Mega Force cards pretty, uh... I collected them a ton during Mega Force. And I always wanted every single one of them. Never got them all. But uh, here are three that I never had. The uh, Victory Charge cards or the, you know, the Battle Gear Final Attack cards. Blues is a little beat up down there in the corner, unfortunately. But they all still are serving their purpose. Yellows and blacks. And uh, we will test them out in the Deluxe Gose Morpher. Specifically the gold one. I love Mega Force, guys. <laughs> I never really made that clear on the channel. Um, Super Mega Force, I hate uh, because I am a Gokaiger fan first and foremost and I don't like what they did with Gokaiger, but Mega Force I really, really like. And I do have the San Diego Comic-Con 2013 Gose Morpher, uh, which interestingly is the only one of the two that has batteries in it right now. The other Gose Morpher is sitting on the other side of the room with no batteries. So let's go ahead and uh, play with this card. Victory charge indeed. They're all gonna say the same thing, so I'm not gonna bother. I am gonna do the try me card though. I don't remember if these did anything in this. Nope. Those do nothing because they're not even a card. They're just a piece of cardboard. If you thought I was kidding, I certainly collected the cards. So this is my big bin of the cards. I love these things. I never got all of them, but where are the other victory charge cards for this thing? So we're gonna have to dig them out for this. There they are, the red and the pink one. And look at that, there was empty slots right there, there, and there, which is where the cards that I just got are gonna go. But we're gonna have to dig out red and pinks so we can do this properly. And man, I have no space for this, but I wanna be able to show the, all the cards. Of course, we're gonna have to build the shark bow gun. Can't forget to do that. And actually it comes with two missiles. So this is like a replacement missile, that's good. Good to know. But yeah, basically there's this handle piece, so a little bit of assembly required. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Obviously the handle size is still very small. Very small, but it works. So there is that. And uh, 
load it up with the other missile. Pew! Perfect. All right. Now we're talking. So you can combine that missile in there. Make sure it's all centered. And uh, I like the designs of the Mega Force weapons quite a bit. I think they are pretty neat. And uh, let's go ahead and combine these guys. So let's see. I think you have to combine the Snake Axe first, which I now slot in like that. And then the Tiger Claw is going to slot in like that. So this is the Land Sea Buster because uh, it has the powers of the land and the sea together there. You know, the, the three of them. So there is that. And then we already had this. I've had this for years. And um, let's turn it on, though. So the red one actually has the sounds. And uh, yeah, I can't believe I actually have all five of these finally. It took so long. Uh, just like I said, not because I couldn't find it, just because I didn't care uh, to find it. And when I saw it for $10 the other day, like a week ago, I was like, yep. That will be the time. Let's finally do it. So let's go ahead and slot the cards in here. I think it was, there was there a sound when you put the card in on them. I don't, I know Pink's doesn't have a sound. I'm also kind of afraid of the integrity of the card by doing that. And then reds, we can slot in. Yeah, I knew it had a sound. So that's all fancy and such. And then we can take blues, slot that one in there. Yellows is gonna be Wow, holy crap. <laughs> Yellows is gonna barely slot in there. Uh, blacks is gonna be the same. It's gonna barely slot in. Man, I can't believe that they made the weapons so small. So small that the cards are laughable in there. Uh, and I also don't want to be in the, have the cards in there too long because I don't want to bend them really badly. But now for the moment of truth, we can take this and this, and this right here is eight years in the making. Hell yeah, it is the Mega Force Blaster in all of its glory. Yeah, I think that was worth it. I think it was worth an eight year wait to make this happen. I I like it. It's gonna go straight into the Mega Force bin for me to forget that I own it. But it's here. <laughs> Unfortunately, there actually was a version of this that you could get where it was all combined. I think it was a Toys R Us exclusive version. And I think it came with exclusive cards too, if I'm not mistaken. So I might actually have to get that as well, which means this would have been for nothing, except for the fact that you could only get these cards with the weapons. And uh, it does look pretty though, when you get it all, I guess <laughs> you can kind of two hand hold it, sort of, and you can still fire the missile. I was really afraid that that was gonna bounce off the very limited amount of space I have. But uh, I don't really know what else to say about this. It's the Mega Force Blaster. It took eight years for me to complete it, which is ridiculous. <laughs> um, but like, I mean, like I said, at the beginning of the video, I found red and pinks at an Ollie's like literally back in like 2014. And I just never bothered to pick up the other ones because they didn't have it that day and I didn't care. And here it is. So thank you all for watching this little video as I complete yet another little piece of my Mega Force collection that I never could until I had my own income or bothered to look for any of it. Um, there are still tons of power cards that I'm missing. And I, I guess one day I would like to complete the entire collection of cards. I loved those cards uh, back in 2013. I never knew how to play the game. I don't know if anyone ever really knew how to play the game. <laughs> but I loved the pretty artwork on them. And uh, I have a pretty good amount of them. And every once in a while, every couple of years, I get no kick about them. You know, I, I kind of think back and I'm like, I should probably go after those missing ones. And then I get a couple of them and stop. But maybe after a couple of different iterations of that, I will finally have a complete collection. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, you can follow me on Twitter at LivingRangerKey or at LightningFigPR. And I'll see you all next time.